Hey guys, it's Greg here and today I want to show you how to upload videos on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to do it on both your desktop and on your mobile phone. Let's get started. If you want to upload videos on desktop, you first need to log into YouTube. So head over to youtube.com and if you're not yet logged in, go to the top right hand corner where it says sign in, click sign in and enter your email and your password to log into your YouTube account. After you log in, you will see a screen like this. This is your YouTube home screen. And to upload your videos, you will need to go to the top right hand corner where you see your profile picture and click that drop down button. And after that, you will need to go into YouTube Studio. So click on YouTube Studio and you will land on a page that looks like this, which is your home page for your YouTube Studio where you can manage all of your videos, you can upload your videos as well as look at the analytics for your previously posted videos. Now to upload the video, you will want to click create here in the top right once again, and you've got a few different options here. You can either upload a video, you can go live with a YouTube live, or you can create a post for your community wall. This option will only be available if you have reached uh, over 10,000 subscribers. So as a new channel, you will only have upload videos or go live. Uh, because today's video is about uploading videos, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you'll want to create uh, click this button here, upload a video. You will see a dialogue that looks like this. From here, you can either drag and drop your video file to upload it, or you can select the file and then select it from your file explorer. I'm going to drag and drop, so I'll go into the folder. I've got an example video prepared over here, so I'm just going to drag and drop that over here, and the video will start uploading. You will see at the bottom there is an upload uh, timer, so the percentage is counting up. Now, there are a few different details that you will be able to fill out in this upload screen, and they're critical if you want to not just upload your video, but if you also want your video to rank and to get views in YouTube, you need to make sure that you fill out your title and your description and your tags correctly. So we're going to be going over all of this in this video. So first of all, let's look at the title. Uh, the title of the video is crucial for your video to actually be picked up by the YouTube algorithm and uh, for it to potentially come up in searches and to get views and traffic. You can discover good titles for your videos by using the YouTube search bar prediction tool. For example, if you start typing in something like how to upload, you will see that YouTube search bar gives you predictions for what kind of search terms are popular, how to upload videos on YouTube, how to upload short videos on YouTube, how to upload YouTube shorts, etc. This is how I came up with the idea for this video that you're watching now, how to upload videos on YouTube. So um, depending on what your video is about, you will want to put the main keyword that you want your video to be found by into the title of the video. This particular example, of uh, the video that I'm uploading. I'm going to use an example of affiliate marketing for beginners as my title. So just like this, I can put in affiliate marketing for beginners because I've also done research and you will see that if I type in like this, affiliate marketing for beginners, okay, this is also a topic that is being searched. You can use this type of discovering what titles you should put in um, in any niche because this is what people on YouTube, the real viewers on YouTube are actually putting in every single day looking for videos for that topic. So if you want views, make sure that you get the right title and that you get your main keyword into the title of the video. So for the purposes of this example, I'm going to go with the title of Affiliate Marketing for Beginners, How to Start Affiliate Marketing. The next box that you need to fill out is description. The description box is vital as well. I've already got some information here in the description box. This is just the default description that you can set up in some other settings within YouTube. So if every single time you have your signature or some courses that you are selling or something like that, this will be the default description that populates in all of your videos. So I'm just going to do this for the purposes of today's video. We don't need this. and. The first three lines that you put into the description are the most vital because this is going to be given the most priority by YouTube to figure out uh, what your video is about and then to be able to show this video to the right audience who are either searching for this kind of videos or are interested in this kind of videos. So in our case, the keyword that I'm targeting with this video is affiliate marketing for beginners. So we will want to put affiliate marketing for beginners, that phrase into the first three lines of the description. So here is what I can write. So you can see here, I've got the description. So the first sentence is today's video is about affiliate marketing for beginners. Okay, so this is the key phrase that I'm targeting. 
whatever key phrase you are targeting, you should also put it into the first sentence of the description. And then you should also use some related keywords in the description over here. So um, you can read what I have written. I've just tried to cover as much as possible um, uh, some related terms that may be relevant to the main key phrase of what my video is about. Further down in the description, you can put in links to perhaps your social media or some further information about the video, but just make sure as a tip that in the first three lines, you include a keyword that uh, describes your video and that people hopefully search for so that your video can actually be found and start getting views. Next, thumbnail is very, very important. You should use a custom thumbnail for your videos. So I've already prepared a custom thumbnail, so I'm just going to click here and I can choose any of these thumbnails that I have already prepared. Okay, so a thumbnail is critical because without a good thumbnail, you're just not going to get any views. After this, you can add your video to playlists. It's a good idea to create several playlists about the different subtopics of your channel. So then you, you can add your video to any of the subtopics uh, by adding them to the playlists. YouTube also now asks you whether this content that's specifically made for kids or not. So you should choose either yes or no, depending on whether your content is made for kids or not. You can go through the other options and choose whether your video contains any paid promotions or whether you want or don't want automatic chapters. Next important section is this one here called tags. So you will want to enter as many tags as possible that describe your video as much as possible. And to get the ideas for your tags, think of them as essentially keywords. So for example, my main keyword is affiliate marketing for beginners. So I want to add that as a tag. After that, I will probably want to add affiliate marketing like that. You have 500 characters to insert your tags and it's a good idea to insert as many of the relevant tags as you can think of. And for that, you can use a tool that is called keywordtool.io slash YouTube. So just this URL here, uh, make sure that you can then type in your main keyword, such as affiliate marketing for beginners. And this tool will give you some suggestions. So for the language, I will choose United States and then we can click the search bar and it will generate various tags that you can then use. So see from here, it's giving all of the suggestions for the related tags for affiliate marketing for beginners. So for example, here, affiliate marketing for beginners 2022 is something that I will probably want to add like this over here. Then affiliate marketing step-by-step -step sounds like a type of keyword that I also will want to add in here. So you can go through and choose which of these keywords are relevant to you and then add them all into the tags. This will give YouTube as much information as possible about what your video topic is so that they can start showing to the relevant audience. After this, go through the rest of the options, choose your video language, caption certification, whether your content has aired before or not on TV, recording date is if you want, video location if you want, license and distribution, most likely your video will be standard YouTube license, but if you want it to be Creative Commons, you can choose that as well. Choose the category of your video over here. So for example, if it's a how-to video or education or travel sports, so choose the most appropriate category over here and click next. After that, I've got my channel on YouTube is monetized. If your channel is not yet monetized, you will not see this option. Uh, to get monetized, you need a thousand subscribers minimum and a minimum of 4,000 watch hours. So if you don't have that yet, then you, you may not see the monetization options. Now, my channel is monetized, so I can just choose monetization on and then I can uh, choose some monetization options such as manage the mid-roll videos, but I'm not gonna go into that just yet. So here we're going to click next. And after that, we're going to choose our ad suitability. So for ad suitability, you just need to answer this questionnaire. Uh, again, if your channel is not monetized, you won't see any of this. So I'm just going to submit the rating as safe for ads. After this, you can add some of the other options such as add subtitles to your video, add an end screen to your video or add some cards to the video. Regarding subtitles, YouTube will actually automatically generate subtitles for your video. So you only really need to use subtitles if you've got some custom subtitles file, which is very uncommon. Most people just use the automatically generated YouTube subtitles. With the second option here to add an end screen, uh, you can add it by clicking this button. YouTube has a few different end screen templates. This is a template for overlays that appear in the last 20 seconds of your video. 
and you can promote your other video content using these end screen templates. If you want to see an example of what an end screen looks like, just go to the last 20 seconds of this video and you'll see exactly what I have done. Um, you can just choose any of these templates. For example, if you go like this, you can then drag it exactly where this uh, video should appear, the video that you're promoting. So say in the last 20 seconds, this particular video will appear. You can actually choose which video appears uh, from any of your previous videos if you want, or you can allow YouTube to choose the video that they think is best suited for the viewer who's watching this. You can also adjust where it appears. So this is very useful to promote your other content on your channel. You can also add cards to your video. So for example, if at five minutes and five seconds of your video within the video, you are saying, check the link in the top right of the screen, then you can make a little card come up in that section so that you can promote your other videos or you can link out to an external website. So also very, very handy if you're trying to uh, put in additional information and link out to something within your video. The last screen over here is this screen here called visibility. So visibility will allow you to actually publish the video. There are a few different options here. A private option will only allow you to see your video if you are logged in. So um, this is kind of like a way to store your video on YouTube, but nobody will be able to see it. You will not get views. You will not get, uh, you know, YouTube search views. So you only really want to use this if you don't want anyone else to see the video. Unlisted means that you can share your link with another person. For example, you can send it on WhatsApp or on Facebook Messenger to another person. And if they've got that link, they will be able to see your video. However, no one will discover your video through a YouTube search or it will never be recommended to anyone uh, by YouTube uh, algorithm. The last option, probably the option that most people use is this one called public. So this is when everyone can watch your video and this is how you can tell YouTube that it's okay for YouTube to start promoting your video and to start showing it for YouTube search queries as well. So most likely we'll be using the public video. At this point in time, if you click the publish button, your video will go live immediately. However, if you want your video to go live a little bit later, then you can choose this option here, schedule, and then you can actually select exactly when this video should go live. So for example, I can create videos in advance and I can choose for them to go live on the 19th of February or so. And I can even select the time at which time I want it to go live. So your video will be private until that time and it will go live whenever you set this timer to go. So that's all there is to it. Once you click publish, your video will go live. Let's now look at how to do this on mobile. Now, if you want to upload videos on YouTube using your mobile phone, then just simply open the YouTube app on your phone and you will see that at the bottom of the screen on the YouTube app, there is a plus button. So if you click the plus button, then you will get a few different options here. Create a short, upload a video, go live, add to your story or create a post. So out of them, you will want to choose upload a video if this is what you would like to do. So click upload video, it will display all of the videos that you currently have on your phone that you can upload. So let's say if I want to upload this video of us going to the beach, then I can do that. So this will show a preview of the video, which is fine. After that, I want to click next and here you can add all of the details. So again, we've got the title, so you can click in here and you can, uh, you can enter the title of the video. You can also add the description. So we went through all of the best practice scenarios for how to add the title and add, add the description earlier in this video. So if you haven't seen that yet, you can scroll um, to about the middle of this video and watch all of those um, instructions. So here we've also got visibility where you can choose public, unlisted or private. And you also can choose audience location and add to playlists through here as well. So after you choose all of this, you basically just need to click upload. And so after this, you'll get notification that it's been uploaded to your videos. And if you wanted your video to go live straight away, then it will actually go live straight away. So just be careful with this option. If you schedule for it to go live later, then it will go live at a time that you specify. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click like or just below this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Greg Kononenko. If you now want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, how to really get more viewers, how to tag your videos properly, then make sure that you watch this video over here. It will show you exactly how you can do that and how you can grow your YouTube channel very, very quickly. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.